Hi everyone, welcome back. In the first video, we studied about numbers and the real line. You saw what are different types of numbers, the natural numbers, which we also call the counting numbers, the whole numbers, integers, rational and irrational numbers, and the real numbers. And you also saw where they all lie on the real line. Now, today we are going to learn about inequalities and intervals. So, let's begin. What are inequalities? You are already familiar with the notation of equality. The symbol we use for equality is this. When two numbers or two quantities are equal, this is the symbol which we use. But in real life, not all the time, things are equal to each other. There could be a case where one quantity or number is greater than the other or less than or there's a possibility it could be greater than and equal to or it could be greater than uh, or less than equal to. In all such cases, we have different symbols. Whenever we say that something is less than the other number, for less than we use the symbol this. For greater than, we use the symbol this. For less than or equal to, we use the symbol less than equal to. For greater than or equal Two, we use the symbol greater than equal to. So these are the different symbols, four types of symbols, less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, which are used in mathematics instead of writing in words. Let's look at some examples. Now, you already know two is less than five. How do we write it mathematically? Using the symbol, we'll say, 2 is less than 5. Look at the second example. It is given 5 is greater than 1, which is a fact. But how do we represent using a symbol? We'll say 5 is greater than 1. x is less than equal to 2. Now, if we take x to be some number and it can take values which are less than or equal to 2. We'll say x is less than or equal to 2. So we have used the less than equal to symbol. What if we are given x is greater than equal to 9? The symbol we'll use is x is greater than equal to 9. So these are the four symbols which we use for inequalities, less than, greater than, less than, equal, greater than, equal to. Coming to intervals, what are intervals? Intervals are nothing but set of points. Set of points on the real line. Now, how do we represent these sets? For that, we use a notation. So, different types of intervals will be there. What are those different types of intervals? The first type of interval which we have are represented by open brackets or the round brackets. So, round brackets are used whenever we have open intervals. I will explain what are these intervals by using some examples. Another type of notation for interval which we use is square brackets. Now, square brackets are used for closed intervals. 
we also have half closed half open intervals of the type or this these are known as half open half closed they can be open on any side now whenever infinity is there in our set of points we use open intervals so remember whenever we have infinity we use open interval or the round brackets so for infinity open interval are used now there can be different types of cases let's take x to be some number then we can have x and infinity is on this side so we take open interval or we can have x infinity now see as infinity is here on the right side we have taken open bracket here round bracket in both these cases what if we have minus infinity still we will use the round bracket minus x x or we can have minus infinity x or it is closed from this side again as it is minus infinity we have round brackets let's look at some examples what if we are given that x takes values from 2 to 3 excluding 2 and 3 how will we write it we'll say x belongs to the interval 2 3 now what does this mean it means on the real line if we take a line take this to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and a line is going on. If x is taking values from 2 to 3, excluding 2 and 3, it means 2 and 3 are not included. So we have taken the open bracket here. See, this is an open bracket because endpoints 2 and 3 are not included. And on the real line, to represent this, we will take two empty circles, denoting my 2 and 3 is not included. And except them, x takes all values from 2 to 3. So, x can be 2.01, 2, uh, 2 x can be 2.11, x can be 2.999, going up to uh, 2.99999, but x cannot be 3 and x cannot be 2. So, on the number line, we represent it like this. What if we are given x takes values from 2 to 3, including 2 and 3? Then we will write it as x belongs to the closed interval 2, 3. Why do we use these square brackets? Because now 2 and 3 are both included. On the line, how will we represent that? Let's take this to be 0, 1, 2, 3 and it goes on. Now, as x takes all values from 2 to 3, 2 and 3 are included. So, what we'll do, we will take dark dots here, symbolizing that 2 and 3 are included, which means the set of points from 2 to 3, including 2 and 3. X will take all values from here to here, including 2 and 3. So, X is equal to 2. X can be 2.111, 2 
x can be 2.5, x can be 2.999 and x is also equal to 3. So whenever we use dark dot, it means that those points are included. Come to the third example. x takes all real values. Now, for this, you know that when we did number line, you saw on the real line, points are from minus infinity to infinity. So in such case, we'll write it as x belongs to minus infinity to infinity. And on the line, how are we going to represent? We'll take this as 0, 1, 2 goes on up to infinity, minus 1, minus 2 goes up to minus infinity. It means my x will take x takes all values from here to here 0, 1.5, 2.999, 1000, 10 to the power, 1500, anything. x takes all the values from minus infinity to infinity. What if we have x takes all the values less than 3? excluding 3. Now that would mean x takes all values less than 3. So here x will belong to the interval. Now it does not take 3. So 3 is not included. We take an open bracket this side and it is taking all values less than 3. So, you know, on the number line, we have 1, 2 goes on. I'll take 3 also. And this side we have minus 1, minus 2, up to minus infinity. These are going up to infinity. As x takes, the question says x x takes values less than 3 excluding 3. So 3 is here and it says less than 3 excluding 3 which means 3 is not including so we have an open circle here and less than 3 values will all be this side in this direction. You know on a number line Whenever we move towards the right, the values increase. And whenever we move towards the left, values decrease. So as values are less than 3, they are decreasing, we have this direction. So our x will take all these values excluding 3. What if we are given x takes all values greater than 0 including 0? Then in that case on the interval first, interval would be x belongs to, now it says x takes all values greater than 0 including 0. So it's including 0. So we have a closed bracket 0. And it's all values. So values can go up to infinity. So we take plus infinity as they are greater than. Values are greater than. And as there is an infinity, interval is open. On the real line, take this point to be 0, 1, 2, they are going up to infinity. As it says, x belongs to the interval 0 infinity, we will be including 0. So this is a dark dot. And x takes all values from here, it goes up to infinity. A quick recap. We did four types of inequalities, less than, 
greater than less than equal to greater than equal to and we did four types of intervals the open interval the closed intervals the half open half closed intervals and we did intervals for infinity minus infinity x or minus infinity x x infinity or x infinity so you have to remember guys the signs we took for inequalities the mistake common mistakes which even the grown ups do is putting the correct symbol for less than remember the tip of the arrow always points towards the smaller number like 2 is less than 10 so as 2 is smaller the tip of the arrow is pointing towards 2 and the open side always points towards the bigger number one more thing another representation for all these situations we had x takes values from 2 to 3 excluding 2 and 3 as you have already learned these inequalities how can we represent another way of representing this is x belonging to the open interval 2 3 can be written as x is less than 3 and x is greater than 2 see x is taking all values from 2 to 3 not including 2 and 3 in the second example the same thing we can write as x is less than equal to 3 but greater than equal to 2 now here as you know our 2 and 3 are included we have dark dots so we have an equality sign here in this example x takes all real values that is x can take any value we can write it as x is less than infinity greater than minus infinity remember guys there is you have to be cautious about this sign we have we never take equality here because infinity is not a value infinity represents something very very big so we can never say any x is equal to infinity so we have taken the less than sign now for this particular example x takes all values less than 3 excluding 3 here x is less than 3 and it is greater than minus infinity again see as you have here an empty dot we have a less than sign and because it is infinity there is a less than sign here we will not take equality in this example x takes all values greater than 0 including 0 see we have a dark dot here so this using the symbols for inequalities we will write as x is less than infinity but greater than equal to 0 thank you for watching for detailed explanation and for the notes you can go to my website prof prithibajpay.com go to courses under courses go to remedial mathematics 
there you will find all my class notes and a lot of exercises with solutions for practice our next topic would be the rules which inequalities follow rules which inequalities follow that is a next topic thank you guys once again